June statistics started to come out, mm-hmm. right? And we've been talking about how things have started to tail off in May, right. you know, and that June we started to see that really happening. Of course, now we're in July and I'm telling you that we're seeing, you know, some stuff start to pop in right. July and, 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 and that's really true. But I've got the June numbers and, uh, and, and I'm going to talk about that uh, in a minute here. So, uh, so some of the June numbers, and this is coming from Florida Realtors and this is, you know, basically from uh, Chief Economist, uh, Dr. Uh, Brad O'Connor. Um, first off, the, the closed sales for June continue to underperform, right? So in 2022, uh, th- compared to uh, last year, single family home closures were down 17.2%. Now, this is, you know, for June, uh, the largest decline we've seen uh, so, th- so far this year. Um, there's also been less than 20.9% uh, pending homes under contract in June 22 compared to, to last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to see a lot less, right? This, this is what we're what they're predicting. We're going to see a lot less closings for the next couple of months and beyond, right? And, and I think that's true. I mean, we, you know, high inflation. Rates, right. you know the uh, um, and so on and so forth number of closed sales uh, in recent months is closer to that of 2018 and 2019 I went back and looked at all the numbers that mm-hmm. we had in 2018 19 right. and that's kind of showing what we've had in our in our June numbers as well and that wasn't bad we, we actually had a pretty good June so um, um, uh, you know back then right uh, the biggest difference is that uh, we cur- we have significantly lower inventory today and housing prices is significantly higher not to mention interest rates Right. Inventory is changing and it's up 13.2 percent. Right. Year over year in June. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's that's good news. Right. If inventory continues to grow at the rate it is, uh, we could be back to pre pandemic uh, levels, uh, you know, by the uh, fall time frame, which is which is great. Right. Yeah. So so that will be good good news and that's mm-hmm. what we've been talking about right i told you we started doing some ads you right. know for buyers telling them that you now have choice you mm-hmm. know so on and so forth right uh so that's great um the medium home price uh, is also significant because uh for june we're up 19.7 percent to four hundred twenty thousand. that compares to t- 2021 which was three hundred and fifty one thousand. so that's we're up in the home prices significantly so you know you add that to the cost of the uh, interest rates, which is up significantly from 2.9 to you know uh, 5.51 to 5.87, and you could see why it also means that you know housing has slowed down quite a bit because to to pay for that extra increase you know in the home price, it's going to cost you more money right. you know for those uh, that so that slows down. However, the medium home price was unchanged from May to June. So, so this is the first time that that has happened in Florida that there hasn't been a change from May to June in the same year. Wow! Since two thousand and eight. Mm. So that kind of gives you an indication that things are slowing down, right? Right, and we're not seeing those increasing in prices, right? And that's what we're saying as well. So this is good information for us to be able to go back to, you know, the new listings that we're getting and being able to help guide them that, you know, you can't be asking these crazy prices right. that we now are starting to see a cap. 